Hey everyone, it's Velo. So if you saw my first video about the Persona builds, uh, you are ready to run New Game Plus Merciless. Uh, what we're going to do in every single video is divide them up uh, into each uh, little section, like I have them in the notes. So this one's going to be all about the prologue and uh, pre-Shibuya Jail. Uh, one note I want to make uh, for any PC players out there is that you want to make sure that your play movie feature is off. The play movie feature is basically the animated cutscenes. Uh, you can turn them off and you're able to save time that way. Altogether, I believe it saves about uh, two minutes uh, within the run. Uh, so that already helps out on top of uh, the loading times for a PC being way faster than any other system. Uh, other than that, uh, everything else is up to you, your preference. Uh, all the uh, legacy uh, background music, uh, DLC is allowed into the run, uh, so if you want to put whatever you want on there, you can. I just stick with Persona 5 stuff just because it matches with the uh, the theme of the game, um, <clears throat> and everything else, uh, same thing. So you want to make sure that you also have your uh, save file uh, mastered, uh, so that way you can uh, carry that over for new game. Uh, so we're going to use this file right here. And you're gonna start New Game Plus. You hit Merciless, and then start New Game Plus on Merciless difficulty. And it's just gonna load you up, timing starts. Uh, you could choose English, Japanese, it really doesn't matter. There is no uh, time difference between them, it's just a preferred language. So we're just gonna stick with English for the uh, series here. And for this first section right here, all you're doing is just hitting enemies and just wait until the dialogue is done. Uh, once Futaba says Joker teach him a lesson, you're just going to activate Showtime immediately. Uh, you can use this uh, portion to just either you know practice your slash dashes or maybe uh, your jump cancels here or even like your combos. Just don't even use your persona at all because you're just going to waste time to, to load up your persona. <clears throat> and just let the dialogue play out. This is just fun stuff right here. So when Kutaba says this, just activate Showtime. And once this is all done, you're just gonna go into the next scene, which is the intro. Uh, if you're not on PC, just skip the intro. If you are on PC and the play movie feature is off, it's going to warp you already to the text. So every single text um, that you can't skip in a, as a cutscene, you just want to hold triangle to fast forward them. And just sit there and wait. All right. So... You're just going to go into a bunch of a cutscenes right now, so you're just going to keep skipping them. And my gamepad is no longer connected. <laughs> you want to skip the cutscene again. <clears throat> so now you're going to be in Yogan Jaya, so you're just going to skip the text immediately appeared by Morgana right here. And then you're, you're just going to walk right into LeBlanc. Mm. So the cutscene's going to appear. You're going to skip the cutscene. And then you're just going to hold triangle. Because unfortunately this cutscene is unskippable due to the fact that you have to confirm both your name and the uh, difficulty settings. And you just want to, you know, obviously advance the dialogue. So we're just going to wait here, you know, get all this dialogue played out so that way you all can understand, you know, how long it takes for this dialogue to play, you know. It's going to feel slow, but it's nice just relaxing time for yourself, even if it's the beginning of a run. Okay, so you just want to confirm your name already. It does not matter about, like, putting whatever name you want in there. You're just going to waste time that way. Register your name, 
And you can't even change Merciless, so you don't have to worry about this. So you just want to immediately just press X to confirm, and X Thank again. <clears throat> and the more you play it, the uh, the faster you are at knowing when to uh, hit the confirm button. So after all this text is done, uh, another cutscene is going to pop up, and you just want to skip it again. So we're just going to skip it like so. Morgana's going to mm. talk to you, and you just want to go straight to bed. Skip the cutscene again, and it's going to load up the Velvet Room. Again, if you're on PC and you have the Play Movie feature off, uh, the anime cutscene is not going to be there. <clears throat> so you just want to skip the cutscene in the Velvet Room to advance to the next day. Morgana's going to talk to you. He's going to say good morning. Good morning. There it is. And you just want to head out outside. You're going to meet up with Ryuji. So when you're outside, just hold uh, back down on your uh, your left thumbstick. And you're just going to push Joker into the next area. So that way you go straight to Shibuya. It's the fastest way to get there. So that way you don't have to go straight forward and then take a left. Morgana is going to talk to you and you're going to skip the text. And then you're going to talk to the homie Ryuji. You're going to skip the cutscenes here. You got a couple of cutscenes popping up. <clears throat> and when this uh, loads, um, you're going to go into your, uh, your first battle. Or second battle, I should say, since your first was the uh, the one in the uh, little tutorial area. So you actually want to use Morningstar and just destroy all the enemies here as fast as possible to quickly advance to the next uh, portion of the fight. And you know you can move around, you know, get yourself a feel for Morningstar, or you're able to just you know move Joker and quickly go to the area. So when the pixies spawn here, uh, you don't actually have to defeat any of them. You can literally just walk around because the text automatically plays. Uh, I like to just chill over here just because those uh, treasure chests and treasure chests are cool. And you can just look at them. But yeah, you'll see uh, Morgana and Ryuji start talking to each other very shortly. Here we go. And you're just gonna wait here <laughs> until the next uh, segment pops up. And then the next segment, we're going to actually beat up the enemies and and defeat them. All right. The text box is gonna pop up, so you want to fast forward that. And you actually have to uh, use the phantom move on here. You can't move. You can't summon your persona. You can't you know use your gun. You have to actually phantom move up there. So you just want to press circle. And then triangle. You can actually stop in midair with Morning Star to finish off your enemies. And then you want to go ahead and just uh, beat up y'all, all the other enemies right here. Just go as quickly as possible. You know, if you if you don't seem like you're super fast enough the first time, don't worry. It just takes a lot of practice. After you defeat them all, Ryuji and Morgana are going to talk. And it's going to bring up a uh, text prompt. You just want to fast forward. And more enemies are going to spawn. But you're going to, you know, avoid them. Just like you did in your first playthrough. Considering this is New Game Plus. So I'm going to assume that you remember some of the stuff here. And if you don't, that's okay too. I'm still going to explain it somehow, some way. <laughs> Alright, so you want to skip the cut skip the cutscene. Excuse me, sorry. And you're just going to keep going until you see Alice. She's going to send you guys down a garbage chute. Uh, hit no or just press circle so you don't save your current progress. So that way you can save time. And then you can actually skip the cutscene right here. Skip your text and then just go straight forward to the uh, cube where Sophia is. All right. You're gonna skip the cutscene right here, and then the first enemy spawns, just spam one warning star, and they should all die. 
<clears throat> Another cutscene is going to pop up right here. All right. A text box, you can fast forward. And you can, like, just go all the way up to the next area. <clears throat> just keep uh, fast forwarding text and skipping cutscenes, and you will be on your way to another battle right here. So again, just spam Morningstar. Don't worry. If you don't get them all first try, or you know, you miss a couple enemies here and there. Alright. Then once all the enemies are beaten, you're gonna skip the next cutscene popping up right here. Alright. You're gonna skip the text. And then you just go all the way around. If you want to go a little bit faster, always hug the walls. And not uh, go backwards like I did. <laughs> and uh, you're able to just, you know, move along a little bit more. So in this first part right here, you're going to have to actually hit the pixie with your gun. But afterwards, you can just pop up Morningstar. You don't actually have to use all out attack if you don't want to. And then just wipe all the enemies out with Morningstar. Okay, you're gonna go down to the next battle right here. Wipe out all the enemies again. Okay, and once you're done, climb up here with a double jump. Hey Joker, think you can find your way And then just go to the next area, right over here. Alright. There's some shadows right there. Skip the text. And then go up the stairs right there. If you want to go a little bit quicker, you can actually jump over this little railing instead of going all the way up and around. So you can do that. You just jump up and dash. Skip the text. And then you have the phantom move in order to start this fight. And scaffold. Then morning star everybody to death. Like usual. This game is full of morning star to death just because this move is absolutely powerful. So it's going to be your best friend for this run. If you always forget a strat, you can always resort back to using Morningstar as a safety. Always remember that. Okay, so you're going to have another mob fight right here. Just beat them all up. Go as quick as you can. Can't get them all in one go. That's okay as well. Alright. You know, clean up any strays with just regular attacks, you can. I usually like to just use Morningstar to death. Because I usually should have enough SP to finish out the uh, tutorial area. And and then move up to this area right here to uh, spawn bi Bicorn. Excuse me. So with Bicorn right here, uh, he is actually immune to all uh, status ailments. So you can't dizzy, no burn, shock, none of that stuff. The only thing you could do to the Bicorn uh, in this uh, battle right here is just lower its defense, which is what we're going to do right now. So I'm going to swap over to Alice and hit Debilitate. And just go over to Lucifer and then just Morningstar him to death. If you have Omnipotent Orb, then you don't have to worry about dodging him or anything like that. You're just gonna keep spamming Morning Star. If you have Grand Crystal on, uh, just be wary because that lunge is a very powerful move and it will take you out in one hit. Okay. And once Bike Horn is done. <clears throat> We're gonna, gonna talk to you and you're gonna skip the text here. And you're just gonna keep going to the next marked area. Skip the cutscene. Skip it again to exit the jail. And now you're about to uh, go into a barrage of cutscenes where you're just gonna keep skipping along. Uh, also, if you want to uh, go faster and which the uh, the little jail uh, animation 
is whenever it fades in the uh, outward direction, you can actually hold triangle and it will uh, move a little bit faster so you can go to your uh, cutscene skip a little bit quicker. So like I said, just skip all these cutscenes right here and then talk to Futaba. Skip some more cutscenes and then advance to the next day. All right, so you're gonna do some more cutscene skipping. So I'm gonna hold down triangle right here. You can kind of see how it's gonna go a little bit faster. See how it separates a little bit faster? Boom, now I can skip the cutscene. And I don't have to wait about like five to seven more seconds for it to uh, disappear fully before I can skip the cutscene. I'm gonna do it again right here. Okay. All right, so now it's time to investigate uh, about Alice. So we're gonna go straight over to the next area right here, Central Street. And then we're gonna go head over to this little shop area right here. Go get a text message from Ryuji. And then go to the shop, this clothing shop, examine it. Skip the text, so that way you get your first piece of information. Then there's this dude next to the pole that's grumbling. Listen to him. Okay. And then head left towards Iwai's shop, right next to Ryuji, and then listen to these dudes right here. Skip all the text to get 100% to complete the investigation. You're going to get a text from Makoto right here. I'm going to skip it. And then you're gonna hit the top option so how to uh, make to get the group all back together. Skip the cutscene to advance to the next day, right here. And then you're going to do more cutscene skipping. There's a lot going on. It's just it's just the story progressing, story going on about you know stuff so This is our little break time where we're just doing nothing but skipping cutscenes. You know, getting ready for nice. intense stuff right here. Hey. All right, so now it's time to uh, go over to Takemi's medical clinic. So you're gonna exit the Leblon area, and you're gonna go forward and go over to Takemi. Okay, skipping text right here. Now you can pop up your map, so that way you can fast travel to Central Street, which is what we're going to do right now. And then Central Street, we're going to Iwai Shop. Okay, we're gonna interact with it. We're gonna skip more text. And then we're gonna pop up the menu again, the map menu. And we're gonna go back to Cafe LeBlanc. Okay. And then we're going to skip the cutscenes right here. And with that, you are ready to enter Shibuya Jail. Uh, be weary on the uh, next uh, video right here where I will actually go over uh, Shibuya Jail in its entirety. Uh, so thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comment section. I will try to get back to everybody um, as much as I can. Uh, and I will see you all in the next video. I will catch you on the flip side.